So I had to do a post uh, video, post game commentary video. Hey, uh, a lot of people are going to ask, what kind of credibility do I have in NCAA? Um, how, how can I talk about being the best? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was once the best at this game. Obviously, you see I'm ranked 39 because I'm, you know, every, everybody has played the game. After 10 years, 10 years, how I dropped from number five overall to 39. Obviously, I played a lot more games from when um that picture was to now. But uh, to drop 34 spaces, that ain't bad. <laughs> that ain't bad at all. Look at, look at your boy. Average points, four versus points against. Come on, man. And yes, I did run with Oregon a lot, but um, I did use other teams. I did use Virginia Tech. I did. Well, I, I mostly just matched up with whatever teams people had. Like, seeing these names like the agency lives. Like, I'm really hoping out on Bell, Cool Hand Loop. Dark Boys, well, they said Dark Boys was a glitcher. I played them, I beat them, but Clint 41, Swag Boys scoring D, like Billy D. Well, a lot of them were glitches, but uh, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good one. Hopefully we see them boys back in them, uh, back in this. If not, hey, I'm, I'm trying to come back for the throne. Anyways, let's get to the video. I want to say happy NCAA day to everybody. Happy, happy NCAA day. We are finally back, baby. We are back. No more just playing Madden and 2K and Call of Duty. We are back to real football, ladies and gentlemen. Also, today is July 15th, which happens to be my birthday. So, also, happy birthday to me. What a better way than to celebrate my birthday than to bring back my favorite game mode ever obviously i've been playing madden a lot so when y'all saw me undercut it was mostly because i was used to Madden. but look at this there's some things that i hope they take out of ncaa 25 by the way i have not seen a video yet other than when they first came out with the very first video saying the release date of this game. So, you see he's coming out in four wide receivers with, with a running back, right? This is, now that I'm playing this game 10 years later, I understand why I hate it now. Because now he comes out in a balanced look, which can then, you know, mess up your whole... Uh, your whole scheme because I'm sitting here in dollar, you know, and then he goes, drops down into balance, which now means he has more blockers on the line than I have defenders on the line. And that hurts. So right now he got a tight end at full back in his wide receiver at tight end. Makes no sense to me. So... Like I said, I haven't seen any other videos uh, for NCAA 25. So, everything that I'm seeing in this video is just a hope that something is in the game or some things will be taken out of the game. So, as I said before, this is my first time playing in 10. Well, no, we had a tournament in college in like 2014, 15. So, yeah, actually, actually been about 10 years. So you see him score with Amari Cooper with a slant that ran all the way across the field. Um, actually, I did see some clips of uh, CFB 25, and honestly, it looks like they still have the same running style. As I hit Corey Brown on a fly route because I knew I knew for a fact that he was going to try and um 
run commit, which uh, they did say. I, I did read a note about that where uh, it said, like, mainly the people in the box, you know, the linemen and the linebackers, when you run commit, those are the only people who are going to run commit. It's no longer going to be the safeties and cornerbacks that come down just like how you saw on that play. Which, which is good, which is bad, you know. Like, when we were playing this game 10 years ago and people would run commit, you would know that they're run committing because they will back their DBs up all the way back, right? The whole triangle or Y and then flick the left stick up to push all their people back. And that's how you would know they would run commit because uh, when people run commit and it's a pass, their uh, people, they run down about three, maybe four yards and then drop back in coverage. So when you have your players already, your safeties are 20 yards deep and your DB, your cornerbacks are like 15 yards deep. You know, they run down 11 yards and then run down to like 16 yards and then now they're just dropping back for any go route possible that's a good break up by grant um so they're they're taking that out um which is good i mean i honestly there there's a lot of things in this game where either i just forgot first off how he perfectly timed up this blitz is ridiculous and i do not understand how he did it but uh, you see he started going to nano blitzing. Uh, put five uh, linemen down and then has a six one right there on the edge. And honestly, there's nothing you can really do about it um, unless you have a running back. By the way, Braxton Miller, man, he, he, he was that guy. Braxton Miller was that guy. And... So we got the kicking arrow, no longer the kicking arc. If you try to play Madden and then go back and play NCAA 14 like I did, it, it's really difficult to play. Because the running mechanics, the running styles is a whole lot different in college football than it is from Madden. Um, I was watching a, a forum talk about, you know, this, this game coming up. Um... And he's basically saying how it's going to be a running game. And yes, obviously, when you look at, by the way, there's three games in this video. Um, I am i don't know if I'm going to be talking for the whole entire video, but um, there's there's three games in this video. Um, and you're going to see, like, all people do is run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Look at that. That, that is an easy click switch. Click to the next defender and pick. Easy. Easily. Easily. And you'll see throughout these videos how basically I can't get a pick unless I'm I'm a user. And even when I turn into a user like that, it's still hard to undercut the ball and get a pick. I'm going to be honest. I probably got one user interception in these three games. One user interception and you know um so he comes out he got blake sims and he 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 switched like through three quarterbacks to be honest and this is this is alabama when they had tj yeldon kenya drake mark cooper uh foster reuben foster on the defense um trying to think of i think i think he has cj mosley i i might he might have cj mosley i think um the alabama team was a whole 99 overall team 99 offense 99 defense just overall 99 and obviously it's, it's kind of hard to, to compete with a team like that especially when no other team is ranked above a 95. Ohio State is a 95. Oh, by the way, this is what they need to bring back. They need to bring back the, the ability to switch um, to audible out of onside kicks or audible into onside kicks because 
Well, honestly, I only been playing Madden. Uh, I, well, we all only been playing Madden, and that's the only thing we can play. But when they took the, took out that ability, and it, now we have to burn a timeout and have to wait until the opponent clicks their play before we even you know, and all of that is a dream, man. But also, if they do bring back that ability, I would like them to still let us be able to kick the ball while they're moving around and getting into where where they need to get to. This guy was abusing out routes the whole game. I'm, I'm going to just say he was running the ball and throwing out routes. That's it. That's all. But, um, so, like, if if somebody comes out an onside kick, right, and I come out in regular, or if I come out an onside kick and they got their regular kick return out, when, and when they try to audible into onside kick mode or hands team and their players start running up, I should still be able to kick the ball and, you know, we just go after, you know, it, like I shouldn't have to wait for them to, you know, do the audible and stuff like I shouldn't have to wait. There, there's a reason why onside kicks are to catch people off guard, you know. Um, but yeah, this this game brings a lot of nostalgia. Like as you see, I had Carlos Hyde right there. I had Ryan Shades, Ryan Shades here, bro. Like he hasn't. A lot of these Teddy Bridgewater is in this game. Teddy Bridgewater had a whole NFL career, and now is a high school football coach. And now NCAA is back. That's how long this game has been gone. It dropped in July 2013. Um, so, there's, there's like, they have AJ McCarron on this team as well. Um, Who else? Uh, You'll see later, Stefan Diggs is still in this game. Anthony Thomas, Marcus Mariota, um, who, who else? Jadavion Clowney, um, just, just a whole lot of names in here. So, yeah, the guy was open. Honestly, I was looking at Triangle for the whip route, you know, but, um, he comes out in that nano blitz again. <sighs> All right, game two. Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel had <clears throat> a, he played one or two years in the NFL, then went to go play Canadian football, did all this other stuff, got on uh, um, Club Shay Shay, and blah blah blah. And NCAA is now dropping. After first of all, we should thank him for helping, you know, Reggie Bush get his Heisman back. That's he he actually helped out with that and much appreciative, much appreciative. I am for that. Is Reggie Bush, he, he didn't deserve to have his highest been taken away, man. No, definitely not. But, hey, man, this play pissed me off like no other, man. All right, so I could have threw it to triangle, but I threw it to edge. Nelson Aguilar is complete cheeks. Like, just grab, grab the ball. I mean, honestly, but, like, you, like, look at this. That's a... That's an easy undercut. Easy undercut pick. And we're off to the races. I mean, we're not going to outrun Johnny Manziel. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Johnny Manziel. Oh, that's my fault. I was in cover too. <sighs> believe it or not. Johnny Manziel. 
as a 96 speed quarterback is within the top 10 fastest players in this game. There is no 99 speed player in this game besides uh well no I don't I don't think he was in this game the dude from Florida State Marquise Lee yes sir but um there's only 199 overall which is Jade Gonkani obviously and look this guy he our line is getting no penetration like I'm I know I'm only rushing three but then look, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Perfectly strafe. Why don't we catch the tip pass? Hmm? Hmm? Make it make sense. Look at this. Drop. <laughs> we cannot make it make any more sense of this. And then look at this. He runs a glance route and gets open. <sighs> It's a rough start, man. Like I'm still, I was still trying to get used to the game and all that. By the way, I'm I'm recording this off my GoPro, um, and then my GoPro dies, and then I had to record. Look, look at this, look at this. I I was I promise you, I promise you, I was tapping triangle. I promise you, I was tapping triangle, and they did not let me intercept the ball. But hey, they definitely need to bring the highlights, the the uh the juke stick. They definitely need to have that in this game. Definitely need to have that in this game. If they have that in this game, I'm going to be a problem for a lot of people. I promise you that. Um Dang, I forgot what I was saying before uh that interception, man. But anyways, um the quads bunch. No, look at this. Look at this. Pick. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta. All right. So this is when I started recording from my phone, and I didn't realize that the GoPro and my hand sanitizer was right there. I also don't have a good setup. I don't have a desk. I don't have a laptop and all that. I don't have a monitor and all that. I'm, you know, I. When I was working at Best Buy, I should have bought all of this stuff already. But look at that. Look at that. How, how, if you saw, you saw the angle, this man ran across and then stepped downwards and was able to catch my running back. Silas Red is a 92 speed running back. So he run commits here and I am so happy that, uh, this game, that the phone captured that because I was, I was hurt. If the game didn't capture that. But Ben Molina. Doing Ben Molina things. Oh man. It's, we're down 21-20. Honestly. I, I was just trying to play. The game to bring back nostalgia. I wasn't trying to sweat. The first game. I wasn't trying to sweat. The second game. This game I wasn't trying to sweat. But honestly I just really wanted to play. And. There, there's two, 200 people online still playing this game. And, um, um, but most of them are playing Road to Go. Look at this. Look at this. Pick. Give me that. To the crib. Like, a lot of people probably were playing Road to Glory. Honestly, I didn't even know this game had Ultimate Team. Until I, you know, was going through... In, uh, NCAA 12 and 13 and 14. I didn't, I didn't know this game had, uh, ultimate team. Would I have played it? No, but you know, just, just what the hell was that? But just like this game, like, uh, am I going to do the road to glory first or am I just going to start doing the play now? Who knows? But I'm going to be using Oregon still. That has always been my NCAA team since um, since uh, Thomas was at quarterback. With Michael James at running back. Lavoisier, Tuane, Boyette, Pace, Singer, uh, Jordan, all, all, all 
told him, you know, my boys, Braylon Addison, uh, is on this game. Um, by the way, whatever happened to Braylon Addison? That man played at Oregon for one year or maybe two years and just disappeared. Still trying to figure that out. Uh, <clears throat> so we get into the, you know, the usual. Uh, it's 28 to 30. And, you know, it's clutch time. But he breaks a big run with Ben Molina. And honestly, with me only having uh, three timeouts, uh, all I did was send blitzes and stuff, and he just happened to get a first down and started drinking the clock from there. And then that's another loss, ladies and gentlemen. So we're off to game three, and we ain't leaving without a victory. And I say that because uh, I had a flag football game that I had to get you, and I was willing to miss that flag football game until I won. And how the hell did my corner just get cooked that bad left to be left frozen at the hash while the receivers continue to run his route and catch the ball on the sideline? These guys know something about the game that I obviously do not because I've been missing for 10 years. Um, like I said, Stefan Diggs is in this game. Uh, he has Wes Brown at running back. Uh, I think he switches through three quarterbacks as well. Um, also, I was trying to run the defense that I run in Madden currently, but it, it, look at it, look at it. Oh my gosh. Um, I didn't even know how to man up people, like how to audible into a man up uh, situation until like this game. Um, there's actually a lot of things in this game that I did not know how to do. I don't know if it's because it's been so long and maybe I just forgot. But then again, also, I never really had to do the things that I am, uh, that should be, a, of course. I never really had to do the things that I am, uh, you know trying to do like throw the ball away I oh my gosh for so much time like you play Madden right and if you want to send that spy or you want to send some oh my gosh and you want like let's say you have a person in the flats and the quarterback is running towards his way and you want to send them but you can't send them uh, I mean, but you send them by clicking the R three button. I tried that and this, and that joint did not work. But I also forgot to say, since I didn't get to use Oregon, I did get to use Oregon Junior, which is Cal. Uh, I called him Oregon Junior because uh, Treggs, who's on the right, ninety seven speed, Harper, who's about to catch, uh, oh, maybe it's not this right, Harper. Um, is a 95 speed uh, the, the other star receiver to the left Bigelow who you are going to see a lot of is a 95 speed running back this team has a lot of speed um, well I won't say a lot of speed but a lot of players are over 90 speed on this team um, so when I use them and I'm I'm using the Oregon uh playbook which is the playbook that I feel mostly comfortable with because it's a whole lot of jet motions and um just easy quick tempo type styles that will confuse a team. If like I said, if I if I was to play this game more, uh if I wasn't, you know, Playing other games and Call of Duty and stuff like that, uh, I'd probably be killing people in this game. Um, but it is 
is what it is. All right, so look, I, I go here, right? And I try to look to see how to throw the ball away. This joint don't tell me anything. Nothing. Nothing. This this is literally the control stuff. Usually they have, you know, they show your controller and tell you what each button does. This joint don't tell you nothing. It tells you everything you already know about the game. Which makes no sense. Like why 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 do you even uh interrupt me with this? Um so he he pretty much just goes to stuff on digs. The whole game. Cause that's probably the only person he knows. Like I think this guy had maybe like No, he had a couple hundred games on him. So hmm. But the second guy, he only had like 48 games on him. So, you know, people just restarting profiles and stuff. So, whatever. Or they probably just bought the game down to see what the... To get adjusted to the new college football game. But... Unbelievable. Let's see. Trying to analyze this game too, but he just kept running one play basically. The over routes out of this bunch with a um, with an out route by the number one receiver. Uh, the whole running back motion out thing was a whole. Um, first off, he has X wide open. He doesn't throw it. That is. When I tell you we only caught two picks in these three games, bro. We caught two picks in these three games. It is it is hilarious. Hilarious. Um so back then I used to only play on the free safety. And now everybody, you know, is putting their uh safety, their DBs at linebacker. And stuff like you can still do that in this game, but there is no um sub line back. See, see, I, I, I learned my lesson. I was like, Nope, I am not juke stick, I am not finna click on because if I click on and try to pick, he gonna catch the ball for a touchdown. I was not trying to go through that again. So we hit him with the triple option. By the way, anybody who tries to run the um the army navy type triple option against me yeah it's not gonna work i'm, I'm telling you now it, it, it's it's really not going to work so don't even try and then this whole spread triple option thing don't even try it either because it's it's not going to work honestly i don't really see a lot of people running triple option or option period even though madden does have a speed option glitch uh, which is so annoying, but my boy Klein runs it in to the end zone. There, I'm really hoping this game does not turn out like Madden, but I see like they have a few things that Madden has. They go Harper, 95 speed, take it down, sideline. Um, like I do like how the coach adjust coach adjustment menu is. Like they kept the same menu. That Madden has. Um, they have, you know, the play calling is like Madden as well. I, I believe, like, look at this. I believe, like, they just trying to make the, you know, carryover easier. Uh, for for people who are coming from Madden to NCAA, like, cause like I said, playing Madden twenty four, and then going back to NCAA fourteen, it's it's crazy. Like it's it's crazy. Like the two the two people that I lost to, 
in this video, I should have destroyed. So he comes out in punt formation. And I'm already thinking, okay, I'm running a lot of no huddle and I'm destroying him. He's going to freeze glitch me. And everybody who played this game back then, they know what the freeze glitch is. And if you don't know what the freeze glitch is, what it is, is a person who runs no huddle. Matter of fact, the, the, the player who's trying to freeze glitch can do the no huddle as well. And once the play is ran, you get into no huddle mode. And as soon as... Um, as soon as the menu pops up, you press start, just like that, and then it just freezes. But, uh, they probably fixed it and whatnot, but anyways, I got the guy to, to concede, and we finally got the dub. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, happy NCAA day. I hope that whatever your journey is for this game, whether it's to be the best, or Road to Glory content, or whatever, I hope it's a great one. I hope y'all enjoy the game. Have fun. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. I'm out.